Hi friends, my name is Jen and I love cookies. So today I dug into another box in my freezer that makes me think I don't have as many cookies as I do. And I pulled out a cookie from Feed Your Soul. So these are cookies that I ordered before I even started my show and they've been sitting in my freezer for that long. I did rate one of them um, a very long time ago before I started using my updated scale so it's not even on the uh, slide at the end with all of the ratings. And it was a snickerdoodle cookie and it was pretty good. So I'm curious to see now that I've eaten a lot more cookies if I still find these pretty good. Um, again, disclaimer, this has been in my freezer since February or March, a while, <laughs> so just FYI, it may not be the cookie's fault, it may be my fault. Um, and then also, one cool thing about this company, which is Feed Your Soul, is that for every purchase, they help provide meals to those in need. Uh, which is cool and they sent me this neat little menu that has all of their flavors on it and the one that I'm trying today is show me the honey which is a honey oatmeal raisin cookie and most of them do have fun names like that um, but there were a few others in here that I thought were interesting like a key lime thyme cookie um, and I've got a few still in my freezer that I have not yet rated so yeah, Feed Your Soul, company that donates um, meals to people in need every time you order, which is cool. Show me the honey, a honey oatmeal raisin cookie. Um, and I am, I'm just gonna take it out of the package. <laughs> so, relative to the other cookies I've been trying, this one is pretty small, um, but I think it's a, a good sized cookie. As far as like a snack cookie goes, that doesn't make you feel too full. You can see some of the raisins in there. It looks to me like a pretty standard oatmeal raisin cookie. Um, I don't think it's normal for oatmeal raisin cookies to have honey in them. And I do smell the honey a little bit. I noticed that even when I took it out of the package before I smelled it just now. Um, and it feels like it's going to be pretty soft. It also looks like it's gonna need more raisins. I just don't see that many in here. But maybe they're all hidden, we'll find out. It is indeed soft. It's on the denser side, I think, as far as oatmeal raisin cookies go. It has a good amount of chew to it. No crumbliness or crunchiness at all, but like a good, because it's denser I think, a good, good nice chew. I enjoy it. I don't know that I want an oatmeal raisin cookie to be crumbly. I feel like they should be nice and soft. And this one is. It's not gooey at all. Um, I think because it's, well no, because cookie, society cookies are gooey on the inside and dense. This one's not gooey at all, but it is soft all the way through. It has had adequate raisins so far, so they were all just hidden on the inside. Every single bite I've had has had multiple raisins. I honestly don't notice the honey that much. I thought the honey would make it stand out or be more noticeable in some way. 
But I think if they hadn't told me that it had honey, I wouldn't really have known. It is, um, I would say on the less sweet side as far as cookies go, which I feel like oatmeal raisin cookies generally are less sweet, but I would venture to say this is even slightly below average sweetness for an oatmeal raisin cookie. It is very cozy and comforting because it's so soft. I feel like if I were in a, another moon where I needed a cookie hug, which I did a video once, I don't even remember which one it was now, but this would be a good candidate for a cookie hug, I think. I think that's all I have to say on this one. I'm gonna finish eating it and then get it a rating. My sister recently told me that she likes when I have the scale upside down because she wants to know how long it will take me to notice. So specifically for my sister, I'm gonna leave this part in. Scale is upside down, I noticed right away. Now it's right side up. Okay, so first of all, I just wanna give a shout out to cookies in general for doing a remarkable job in my freezer for extended periods of time. I really thought that would have a big impact, but so far, I haven't had any issues with freezer damaged cookies. Um, so this one specifically, I glanced at the ingredient list while I was finishing it, and I noticed that um, honey was pretty far down the list, like just above vanilla extract. So I'm guessing the reason I didn't notice the honey is because there just wasn't that much in there. Um, also, they had cornstarch in them, which is the secret to keeping cookies really soft, which makes sense because it was a wonderfully soft, chewy cookie. So that was good. Um, I was pleased with the raisins. I thought I was worried I wouldn't be, but I felt like there was a really great proportion of raisins in every single bite. Um, and I think the reason that I find oatmeal raisin cookies comforting is because of the cinnamon. And there was pretty adequate cinnamon in there. So overall, I really enjoyed that cookie. I'm gonna say it was a slightly above average oatmeal raisin cookie, because sometimes, oftentimes, if you go to um, like a sandwich chain, just generic sandwich chain, I feel like oatmeal raisin cookies end up being really hard and crunchy. But that one was not, it was soft, it was wonderful. So I'm gonna say slightly above average oatmeal raisin cookie, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it at a 6.2. So that was Show Me the Honey from Feed Your Soul, which I ordered online. Um, they give a portion of their profits back to help feed needy people, which is great. If you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, and or subscribe below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and eat more cookies.